Consuming high amounts of red meat is commonly linked to an increased risk of developing cancer, especially colorectal cancer. At the same time, antibodies against new 5 gc a carbohydrate derived from red meat, have been observed to worsen cancer in human-like mice. While these antibodies and red meat consumption are each believed to increase cancer risk, it remains unknown how diet affects the antibodies. Now, research suggests that consuming new 5 gc from red meat and dairy can modulate the amounts and properties of anti new 5 gc antibodies in humans, providing clues to how the carbohydrate might be linked to cancer. The team behind the study calculated daily intake of new 5 gc for more than 19,000 subjects aged 18 or older. These participants provided regular logs of food consumed over 24-hour periods as part of the Nutrinet Sante study, which was designed to investigate relationships between nutrition and health status. Antibodies against new 5 gc and their properties were evaluated using precision techniques for 120 representative individuals. Results showed that a diet high in new 5 gc sex, and age affected various aspects of antibodies against new 5 gc including the amount of antibodies and the specificity with which those antibodies bind their target. Men consumed more new 5 gc than women mostly from red meat, and also showed higher overall levels of anti new 5 gc antibodies. A detailed glycan microarray analysis revealed that high new 5 gc specificity and increased amounts of anti new 5 gc antibodies were associated with higher consumption of new 5 gc from red meat and cow dairy. The study is the first to provide experimental evidence of an association between a dietary carbohydrate and the induction of antibodies against it, other than an allergy. The findings suggest that the positive correlation observed between dietary meat and a higher incidence of colorectal cancer could be mediated by an increase in certain antibodies against new 5 gc that enabled researchers to formulate a GCMIC index to measure the amount of new 5 gc in foods. This index could potentially be adapted to provide dietary recommendations that help reduce cancer risk. More work is needed to explore that relationship and new 5 gcs possible role in other diseases.